coaching in the USHL is perceptually valuable to other people. He was as valuable to them as they were to him. I experienced those exact same people differently because I was at level one. And at the time I was a tier three head coach in the USPHL, just starting out, didn't have high level division one on my resume, didn't have pro hockey on my resume. So to a lot of the ego driven people in our industry, I'm a quote, nobody. So positionality, the fact that this USHL coach was in the position he was at, impacted the perception of how he felt about the same people I had encountered. And to frame this up in a different context, by analogy, let's say you're a CTO. So you're in the C-suite, but you're not the CEO. You're not the main guy but you're still very valuable. You're still in the C-suite. You're still making a shit ton of money. So your perceived value in the company is high. And someone could ask at a dinner party or let's say you go home for Christmas, like, hey, how's your boss? How's the CEO? And as the CTO, you probably have a pretty good relationship. You probably talk to him a lot. And you're going to say he's a great guy. Like he's always taking care of me. Um, We've gone through some tough times together, blah, blah, blah. But in the quiet moment, do you really know the guy? Have you ever seen him speak to a janitor? Have you ever seen him speak to an intern? Have you ever, you get the point. Like, because of your position in the company being valuable, he treats you well. But how does he treat everyone else? And coming up in the course, you'll have this thought experiment that Hawkins talks about in one of his books. And at every level of consciousness, you see a bum on the street differently. So from shame, you see him one way. From courage, you see him another way. From love, you see him another way, all the way up. And that's based on your position. So... This coach, this former Division I coach, has heard from other people. So the first question is, who are his friends probably? And they're probably other Division I coaches, professional hockey coaches, people in, quote, the good old boys club. So he's hearing from his friends that Barube is a good dude. Not even met him in person. But even if you have met him in person, say you met him at the coach's site summer symposium or whatever it's called. Let's say you met him there. And he was in a great mood because it's the summertime. It's nice out. He's going to go have a steak dinner and golf 18 holes after this. Like he's in a good mood. He's wearing shorts. He doesn't have to wear a suit. So you catch him in a good mood on a good day. And you talk to him for five minutes. Oh, Craig Berube is a fucking great guy. That's your perception from your positionality.